Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about don't do not believe the hype and I'm going to talk about Obi and Kiora. Both of them have plummeted in price. I think they both plummeted about 50%. Uh, a lot of people were saying Kiora was the best planeswalker, Obi was the best planeswalker. I didn't like them at all. I made it very clear. I especially didn't like Obi. A uh, Kiora, I could kind of see like maybe some EDH player wants to use it and it's a good EDH card. But when you look at those two cards, they saw no play. They are not, in my opinion, they have, have not found the correct deck. So the meta is not in their favor, which matters a lot uh, when you're talking about pro tours or to tournaments or even the meta at your locals. And But yet they've been hyped up like crazy. Who's hyping up these cards? Well, let's see. Are there stores that hire article writers which sell magic cards? Do they sell pre-order magic cards? Now you see why people would hype the card up for no reason. And you might say, oh, they really believe the card's really good and it just so happened this card wasn't good. Well, if that was the case, then why doesn't it happen every time? Wouldn't they eventually realize, hey, we're hyping up cards that are not going to, or most, let's say we hype up four cards, we're probably going to hit one and four. Should we continue to hype up all these cards or should we, you know, be like, hey, wait a second. Eh, you know, now people will say, oh, what about Gideon? What about Gideon? He rose up in price. And Gideon was an easy, some targets, like for me, when I look at him, I look at Gideon and I made that video and you can watch the video and all the videos are timestamp. So when people watch it, like in the future, they'll be like, oh, well, Gideon is bad planeswalker and Kior is really good. I'm talking about right now. Uh, right now, Gideon has gone up. Kior and OB have just plummeted like I have. They plummet just like any Planeswalker plummets. They plummet like a Narset plummets. Narset was $40 pre-order and now she's $6. And there was many articles written about how she was going to be awesome and she could see modern play. I mean, a card doesn't get up to $40 without some hype, right? Now, Kiora and Obi, they were less hyped because of the expeditions, yada yada. And that's all very... I'm sure some math person can show like what percentage that hype was real and what percentage was a person trying to sell magic cards to people who read their articles. Now there's some people I love and I take, you know, um, Craig Westcrow, uh, when I read his article about Gideon, like that pretty much co-signed with what I felt Gideon was. But then if anyone's making like OB and Kiora and telling you to pre-order them and you know, hey, this is very exciting. I get all that. I get that you want to play the card as soon as you get, get it. But at the same time, it's all hype and hype if it hype, if it's just like any, it's not like real life. If someone hypes themselves up as a very good salesperson and then cannot sell anything in 90 days, they will get, they will get fired. They will absolutely be fired because they actually are not a good salesperson. And a person can talk all this stuff and you know how awesome they are. And I work in marketing and marketing people are very good at marketing themselves. And it's very difficult to tell, hey, does this person really know what they're talking about? But just run them in in 30 days and of the results and execution of poor, then it's like, hey, you know, hey, we're parting ways right now. And this got, it doesn't have to be harsh feelings. It's just, it doesn't work out. So the same thing with these cards that are hyped up like crazy, uh, OB and QR being the prime examples this time around, but Narset being a very good example last time around, and Nissa was a very good, I mean, they didn't hype Jace. For some reason, very few people hype Jace in comparison to Nissa, Nisa. So I don't know, like a lot of times when I look at people uh, read articles and they're hyping cards that I don't feel are good, you just have to make a gut decision based on what you think about the card. Now, a lot of times what when it's a pre-order or it's the prices are so high on these cards, like Undergrowth Champion, I mean, QR and OB are just two examples. Undergrowth Champion didn't see play. Princess Drainer is not doing so well anymore. And anytime you look at, like, hey, you know, we're going to increase the prices of these cards because we want to sell them, what is the best way to do so is to write articles with deck lists that are not great and then have people excited about it because you cannot sell when you have a pre-order, it's very difficult to sell old cards that people may or may not already have. So selling a Den Protector during pre-order stage 
very difficult to do because people who have den who want to play den protector already have it but now if you want to sell a weird deck with kiora like uh i don't know like with Sarkon, like I read a deck list, it was like Sarkon, the Dragon Speaker, and then Kiora. And it was like the weirdest deck I've ever seen. And I was like, how is this deck supposed to win games? Like it just seems like it doesn't do anything. And of course, you know, then Kiora's price can be hyped a little bit. People can pre-order, pre-sell Kiora, and that's good for the stores. So I don't know, the hype, you have to be really smart. And I think I'm going to focus a lot on this week about being smart with your magic budget and going as far as possible. Sure, one Gideon out of the whole set will go up in price drastically, but everything else just plummets in price. That's why picking a pre-order is really difficult to do because you know you know that everything else is going to plummet in price, and you know you're just going to pick that one out of all the mythics, one out of like 10, 15 mythics that can hold its price or go up in price, and all the other mythics are going to go down in half. I mean, Obi, Cure, people love these cards. I don't, I'm not saying they are bad cards, but I'm saying that they are not at the pre-order price. That was just hype. And once you go to the Pro Tour and no one plays them, the hype time is over. Undergrowth Champion, for instance, kept getting hyped. Hardened Scales deck kept getting hyped. I mean, there's so many things. Like, now that I'm trying to recollect what was going on, and it just went bad. Allies? Someone was trying to hype allies? <laughs> it looks so funny now that, like, I read out old articles. Allies will be the next really good deck. Go out and pre-order every single ally you can, because you need it. What? Anyway, be careful of your money. Uh, be careful of your budget, and spend your money wisely. Bye, guys.